what's up YouTube? It's Hodge Josh MC here, and today I'm going to be showing you Towerfall Ascension, uh, an indie game coming out for the PS4. Uh, you may have heard of it already, it may sound familiar to you, that's because it's already out on the Ouya, uh, and it's coming down to the PS4 uh, very soon. Alright, so I want to show you a little bit of the competitive mode, uh, which is a four-player competitive. Uh, it's awesome uh, to, to sit in down with your friends and to play that. Uh, it's really fast-paced, intense um, kind of battle style, but there's um, a lot to learn here. It's really easy to pick up, uh, but I think as the longer you play it, you're going to pick up on little nuances and things um, that make it a lot more in-depth than you probably think just looking at it right now. I promise you it's super in-depth, uh, and it's there's a lot to be learned and a lot of cool things that you can do. I don't want to spend too much in competitive mode because I actually... Uh, I want to show you a little bit of something else uh, to see uh, what else the game has to offer. So when this match is over, we're going to take a look at that. I wanted to show you the quest mode too, because the quest mode uh, is specific to the PS4. It's, it's created for this this purpose. Uh, it's added in the sake of the PS4. Um, so we wanted to show you that a little bit. So here we go. Uh, we eventually got our bearings straight and go into the first round. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because you're not trying to kill each other. Uh, you're trying to kill waves of enemies, uh, which I find to be a nice break from the first little bit of the game. Uh, while you're watching this, you can kind of get the idea. We're fighting waves of enemies. Um, we're cooperative. We're working together. However, you can kill each other with your arrows. You can kill yourself with your arrows. So you do have to be a little bit of care, a little bit careful. Uh, playing this, but while we're doing this, I want to talk about what I love about this game. Uh, okay, so this game, one of the things I really like is that it feels to me uh, like the old school co um, competitive Super Mario Bros. game or Mario Brothers game. Uh, I really enjoyed it, uh, that game, and this kind of makes me feel that same way. And this is what I love about indie gaming today: is that um, it's not afraid to give you a different experience. See, there's not a lot of games that I feel like today you can call up your buddies and say, hey, bring over your controller, come to my house, and we're going to duke it out. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. There's a lot of games that people come over and play. Um, you, know, you got your shooters, you got your stuff like that, but these kind of, I wouldn't call them party games, but these kind of games that um, don't take a long time to play, but can be played for a long time, which is a big difference. Uh, when you're talking about games. I like that this game you're in quickly, you're learning quickly. It didn't take us that long to really get our bearings straight and then we were killing it, man, uh, when we started playing this game. And it, it's a blast. And, and I like that a lot. Uh, anytime a game can make me feel like a kid again, then we're doing a good job. They're doing something right. And Towerfall is definitely one of those. It's really easy um, to, to find yourself very soaked in this game, very much like in depth in it. You're like, you're freaking out, you're yelling, you're screaming, you're having a great time. It's very easy for that to happen with this game because everything moves so fast. Um, and it's really, I think it's a major selling point for me, honestly. It's a major selling point to the game that um, it easily draws me in and makes me remember being a kid and playing games um, against my friends and just having a blast and this really does a good job uh, of that so you're gonna see that the enemies get a little bit stronger as the waves progress uh, but they are no match for me and my uh, compadre as we take them out uh, actually my friend did better than I did <laughs> I got 10 kills but three deaths uh, they got 12 kills and zero deaths so they definitely kicked my butt uh, at that round as far as competitively but we're working together remember that so uh, not not that much is lost so we want to go on and go to the next level and show you another level of the quest mode again specific to PS4 so let's show you that and uh, you get some new enemies these little stabby guys and uh, you gotta be careful with these guys because when you jump on them from the front you have the opportunity to get stabbed by that little knife they're toting around um, they are the bane of my existence, to be completely honest. Um, but for right now, we're doing okay. Uh, I missed that ghost. Now, when you shoot, um, your arrows do kind of gravitate towards your enemies, but they don't 
specifically home in on them, if that makes sense. There's def a definite bend towards the thing that you're shooting at, but it doesn't completely pull it towards it. So you do have to take a little bit of skill uh, to actually get it done. Um, but it, it's not it's not going to auto-aim for you, in other words. But it does help you out, given how fast the game moves and the fact that you're using you know, the D-pad and all that good stuff. Uh, it's really, it's actually a wonderful firing mechanism. I actually really appreciated it. Uh, and it, it does some cool things, and it adds for some kind of wacky gameplay, which I think is appropriate in a game like this. So you just saw me spawn out, and I haven't talked about this yet, but when you spawn back in, and you have, uh, you're kind of encapsulated in ice, and you can use that to your advantage if you're spawned in in a good spot, because you actually explode when you come back in. So you can almost use that like a bomb on your enemies, which is good. Uh, I spawned in on the right, where it kind of know what nothing was earlier, so it didn't really help me. Uh, your enemies are going to come in in these bubbles, and you got to dispatch them from there. And you just have different waves of enemies. It, I mean, it, guys, it's really fun. I, I find myself wishing that I was playing it again, watching the video and editing the video. Uh, it was it was a blast. Uh, I, I I needed in my life like yesterday, <laughs> uh, for sure. So anyway, let's see what we can do with these stabby guys. And, uh, oh, I shot my teammate, unfortunately. <laughs> now I'm all alone. And I about shot him again because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but the knife guy got me, and I had another life, so that's good. One more, one more life. Uh, luckily, my buddy did not kill me. But I was quickly taken out by Mr. Stabby over there. So just my friend and Sir Stabs a lot. And oh, he missed him with the arrow and he jumped on him. So we got that. All right. We're on the last wave and I'm back in. I get another go. And I don't have but one life. So it's just the one that I have currently. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. I grabbed two extra arrows. Come in and oh. Got rid of the ghost, but I hit myself with my own arrow. I left my buddy all alone. Uh, it does not look good for him, and uh, in fact, he's gone. But guys, that's Towerfall. It's a blast. You want it. I promise when it comes out on PS4, get it day one. It's going to be great. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and check out my channel for all other sorts of gaming videos and news. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Hit the subscribe button.